What do you think about city? Most of the time I feel good about it. Good, but if I think deeper, good turns into fine, and fine into could be worse. I like city. I've lived all my life in a city, but still, I feel there's there's a lack of something, and that something is time. In latest years, in all media, wherever you turn, you hear about more and more about mental disorders, stress-related problems, family problems. Speed of life seems increasing everywhere. Pace of time is very interesting thing. For kids, time's slower. For teens, it speeds up. But for adults, it's just a rush. Many people think that time have become faster for most of us. Of course, just relatively. I'm not speaking of physical time here. Our feeling of time is changed by events. No events, time is slow. Much of events, time is fast. In Middle Ages, if people wanted to meet, they arranged meetings, sunrise, midday or something. Something so inconcrete like that. And it was okay. It was okay to be for hour late or so. Just 200 years ago, time was people in countryside in that time still lived more or less in pace of nature. But in cities, rules were set by clock. About 200 years ago, in cities lived slightly less people than in countryside. In late 18th century, something started to change. One aspect of these changes was industrial revolution. Most of you, without thinking about it, probably will say that was a good thing to happen. But I'm not so sure. Machines made it possible to work faster, but people were needed to operate them. That started a wave of internal migration. People were going to cities. Work was hard. They worked about 12 hours a day and sometimes more. People were squeezed in tight workplaces and narrow apartments. They worked together but were lonely because they had no time to speak. Children started to grow up without parents because parents were at factory. Crime rate went up. Organized education was established. Trees needed workers, but with some education. Learning was based on principles of factory. All students were trained to repeat single task till they did it right. And cities kept growing. It was first time for a lot of things like drug addiction. First serial murders, printed pornography, democracy. At the be beginning of 20th century, things started to get better. After World War I, women got rights to vote, work hours went down, workers started to join labor unions, but still, city have kept a lot of its dark sides, and pace of time still kept going faster and faster. Telegraph, telephone, radio, television, and finally, but I guess not the last, internet. And as in the beginning I told, time is passing faster if we receive more information. In Middle Ages people might see only one picture of or painting in their entire life. 200 years ago people start to read first newspapers and receive much more information, but it still compared to nowadays limits was nothing. So, seeing all that statistics about stress, when you see recommendations for healthy life, you always see avoid stress. But human can comprehend only only limited amount of information. We see what happens if it's too much. All those disorders that I mentioned. I don't speak about knowledge, but about information. Like, when you're driving to work, everything is information, and uh, information is everything. If you look around, all posters, banners, all signs, everything contains information. Even if you don't think about it, it all goes through your brain and you're processing it. And it all, even if you don't remember it, it all stains in your brain and it all causes some some sorts 
some senses, some feelings, every sound, every image, every idea, every aspect of what you're seeing around creates your next thought. So all information that you even are not accepting but just having around, it's all having you transformed, having you transformed through the day and most of times I'm not sure that it's the positive, like when you're driving to metro or just walking down the street and just reading advertisements or just don't reading them, ignoring them, but you're still just receiving them in your unconscious mind with a lot of information for your work and then driving back to home but how much time did you had to think about things important to you personally I don't mean thinking about work or just thinking to keep you going but important things for you personally how much time did you had for yourself and how much time for your family what is the point of machines that are supposed to make work faster if actually we are spending so much time in traffic and with those machines in past people didn't work less but they could talk while working can you talk now while you're typing on computer some of you might suggest that we have cell phones and emails but that's not that you can see how well you can raise child via cell phone. Most of people are doing that. All that violence, bullying, behavior problems because of lack of experience of parents' behavior. If parents are all day at work, how the children could learn how to behave. I'm not speaking about teaching them how to behave. I'm speaking about teaching by example. How can you teach something by example if you're not there? How can you teach by the mobile phone people how to live their lives? So, and then people wonder why they're shooting in schools, why there's gangs, gang culture, of course, every people must have something to belong to. And if city and because all those cultures from starting from ancient times through middle ages and even to early modern times, uh, for all those cultures, extended family was usual way how to live. But starting with industrial revolution extended family was taken away at first people were divided in small families and now people are living without families some are having them for half time for quarter time and then splitting up family has been destroyed by the city by industrial revolution and now they're living not with parents but with cell phones Thanks goodness I don't have this experience. I had one parent but I'm also a victim of family divorce. But I guess I'm happy because it happened in small age. I guess it's harder when it happens later. City life is not bad, but I wonder how easy it is to get strained in your own way. This way was supposed to go through progress you see where it is now. It is nice to see space exploration in TV after a long work day, then few minutes speak with your dear people and go sleep just to get to work next day. But that's only in case if you're not from those many people in cities who don't have anyone. So only thing what you can do is YouTube. Thanks goodness I'm just a student for now and all those worries are still in future, but for many people it's just everyday's experience. What do you think about it?